Joe, driving down Ramsgate Road, it was uh, great to see on the right-hand side as we were coming here how big this company is. I mean, you cover a lot of a lot of floor space or a lot of ground, don't you? How big is the business? Yeah, it's 64,000 square feet. It covers, it's split across a few buildings, but it's, it's, yeah, it's a big big spread. And founded in 1967, um, you've come a long way in that time. What, what, what do you actually do? What's your uh, core product that you make? Our uh, core business is um, sort of sheet metal fabrication, um, with standalone machining products, but mainly casings uh, for engine housings, pumps, um, yeah. Because we're quite a way, it's quite a journey to get here. I mean, is there much industry around this area? We're right on the on the coastline here of Kent. Uh, there's not as much around here, but um, we have a few major customers that are quite close. Um, not, it's not necessarily the reason why we're here. It's just this is where um, this is where it's founded by. And this is the machine shop we come in here today, uh, presented with uh, well three pretty new XYZ machines amongst others because you've been dealing with XYZ for some time. Could you give us in your opinion uh, some of the, the history and, and what you think of the, the XYZ company and their machines? Um, yeah so we I think it's probably about 2006-07 we got our first um, CNC machine very quickly got two new ones moved on to the high speed 1060 and then um, we just sort of outgrew outgrew the bed size um, but we also had a lot more standalone machining coming through we needed a lot more um, sort of capacity so then we moved into getting the large 1510 uh, then the 320 LTY which just basically is more more uh, stable machine than the ones we were using previously from a different supplier and, and getting to grips with the machines when you start you know diving into this level of technology um, from from reading some of the articles from your business it, it does sound like XYZ were favoured as a result of how easy their their control was to get to grips with and how easy the machines were to operate. Yeah, the uh, the shop mill software is so easy. You know, the guys here don't have the, that much experience when it comes to machining, but it, I think it's testament to how easy the software is to use when, you know, the guys running it, it's seven and a half years experience and the other guys sort of amount to a year or two years. So it's simple. And then you took a bit of a jump with the 320 Y-axis machine, didn't you? Why did you want to introduce that sort of multitasking uh, machine into this environment? Uh, it's flexibility, really. Um, we knew we had to do all the jobs that we currently did um, already, and just you know, chance to bring in some new work. The work we, we were already doing, we could do quicker, more efficiently. Um, also, the software again was the big. The, uh, the big reason to go with it. Did these machines mean you can go to the market and actually look for new work as well or are they here simply to satisfy the machining of existing uh, customers products? Uh, both really um, you know the way when we go to quote work we wouldn't have necessarily quoted some of the work that we have have done in the last couple of years before we got this machine. And, and if you were a, a startup company would you think that XYZ is a good place to start if you were a, a new into machining and you wanted to get into this field? Uh, yeah, 100%. You know, it's um, the the machines are good value. Um, you get a lot with them. Service is good. Um, the software's, you know, I've used I've used software on other machines, but this is by far the the simplest software you can use.